So hitting on the way down is like a pandemic in the sport of beach volleyball. I would say like over 95% of all players hit on the way down. And um, if you're way above the net, hitting on the way down doesn't impact your game that much. But it does. It still does, right? So because when you hit on the way down, you tend to hit the ball flat. You tend to hit into the net a lot more. If you're, if you're hitting shots on the way down, it tends to mess up your distance control. Yeah, so it does cause a lot of problems on the beach at, at every level. Okay, but unfortunately, this is a complex, complex thing. And it's not something that you can just watch a video and fix it real quick. This takes a lot of trial and error and trying to figure out what's going to work, what's not going to work. So in this video, I just want to give you some ideas on how to help you hit the ball closer to the top or even on the way up maybe or at the top because when you learn to do that, it's really going to have a dramatic impact on your game. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is um, arm swing. Yeah, because most people come from indoor. They learn to hit indoor. They learn indoor timing, all that stuff, right? So when they come on the beach, let's say for, for the sake of making the math easy, let's say when you come to the beach, you jump half as high as you do indoor. Well, guess what? If it takes a second for you to get to the top of your jump indoor, it's gonna take half a second on the beach to get to the top of your jump. So your arm swing, if you make the same arm swing, it's gotta be twice as fast, right? And that's hard to do because a lot of people already swing and have fast arm swings indoor. Hard to make it twice as fast when you get to the beach, right? So the other option is to simplify your arm swing so that you can hit the ball faster. Does that sacrifice power? Absolutely. But on the beach, there's only two players on the court. Power is not as important on the beach. Accuracy and control is more important and, and not having a lot of errors. That's more important on the beach than it is indoor. Because there's only two players on the court, there's a lot of open space, okay? So one of the things you can think about is simplifying your arm swing so that you can get to the ball faster when you're on the beach and hit the ball at the top. The second thing I wanna talk about is jump timing. So on the beach, most players jump way, way, way too early. And what happens when you jump way, way early is you jump, you have to pause your arm and you gotta wait for the ball to drop into an area where you can reach it and hit it. Okay, so if you, if you ever pause your arm, most likely you're gonna hit on the way down, period. Anytime you pause your arm in the air, you're gonna most likely hit on the way down, okay? But most of the time, this is caused by players jumping too early. So a different way of thinking about it is figure out high, how high you jump and where's the maximum point of your hand if you jump and swing. Okay, let's say, for example, I jump and swing and my hand's this high above the net. Okay, I want to hit the ball right here, right? Middle of my hand in the middle of the ball. So let's say I would hit the ball seven inches above the net. So instead of just jumping whenever, try to really focus on hitting the ball seven inches above the net every time. Five to seven inches above the net. Because with the sand, you don't always jump super high, right? Sometimes you don't jump as high. So you want to hit the ball, you know, in that five to seven inches above the net zone all the time. And if you do that and you try to focus on hitting the ball at that height, you're going to figure out how to hit the ball at the top. Yeah? And you're not going to delay your arm swing. You're not going to have to pause in the air and wait for the ball to drop into your hitting zone, right? So again, figure out how high above the net you can actually get your hand when you swing or hit shots. And then try to focus on hitting the ball at that height all the time. Oh, and I forgot to mention that if you're one of those players that is always jumping early, something you can do to help correct that is to bend your legs more when you jump okay if you're always in the habit of jumping a little early you can if you use this technique you can go in at the same time as normal but because you bend your legs deeper when you jump it your jump takes longer and that allows the ball to drop into your hitting zone okay and this is something that i have my students do whenever they go to a, a beach that has deep sand, I just tell them, go with a deeper jump. 
Because as soon as you hit deeper sand and you don't jump as high, you're going to jump early and you're not going to reach the ball. And then when you go with this deeper jump, it just delays your jump a little bit, slows you down a little bit. Instead of waiting way back here, just take a deeper, slower jump. And that helps to correct the problem of jumping early. And the third thing I want to talk about, and this kind of combines the first two. It kind of, it kind of um, works with the first two. But if, if you've ever watched a lot of beach volleyball, most of the top players all have very fast arm swings, and they don't pause their arm. Their arm is in continuous motion from the second they leave the ground, from the time they leave the ground till after they hit the ball. Okay, so there's no pauses. They don't jump, pause, and then hit. Okay, it's always one motion like this. It's always pull back, hit, pull back, hit. Okay, and if you start to focus on your arm having continuous motion on every swing, right? If you commit to continuous motion on every swing, what's going to happen is you're going to start to jump later because. If you jump early and you have continuous motion in your arm swing and it's fast, you're going to miss the ball. Yeah, And that's what you want. You want to miss the ball. If you jump too early, you want to miss the ball. You don't want to jump too early and then pause your arm and try to you know, hit it late right? and hit it way on the way down. If you commit to continuous motion arm swing, where it's just boom, really fast, continuous motion, every time, you're going to start to jump later and you're going to start to develop better timing okay and you should be able to think about this right you should be able to go on the beach and practice your arm swing without a ball and you got to be able to make your arm swing and get your hand to the top of of here right of your arm swing to the impact position by the time your head reaches the top of the jump okay think about that right your hand has to be at the top at the same time, the top of your head reaches the top of your jump. And you can just go out and try to go on your beach and try to try to do it. Watch what happens. You're going to be on the way down most likely. And you're going to have to work on it. But if you can't do it without a ball, there's no way you're going to do it with a ball. No way. Right? So another thing you should practice to help you is go out and just jump and swing and make sure you get your hand up at the top the same time your head reaches the top of your jump. Okay, so these are just three things that you can think about that may help you learn how to hit the ball at the top of your jump or even on the way up if you, if you get really good at it. Yeah, so try them. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments or send us a direct message, no problem. We'd love to talk about volleyball stuff all the time. And uh, hopefully these tips help you out.